So I brought Kaylee in today because we just launched a new podcast called Too Much to Say with Kaylee Shore on the Nashville Podcast Network. Is this the first time you've been in studio? Yes, it is. All right, let's clap for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Let's clap for it. Uh, the first episode's available now. New episodes every Wednesday, but it's called Too Much to Say. And before I ask you about it specifically, I can tell you why. Because I sought you out to do a podcast. Yeah, which was a really cool feeling. I just She's so funny on Twitter and Instagram. And I was like, she has so much to say. And she's pretty funny. And so we had a bunch of conversations. She definitely has a, a different perspective than a lot of folks in town. And I think this is just going to be such a fantastic podcast. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be, you know, a really fun outlet to be able to share more behind the songs and just stuff in general, you know? So the first episode is called The Last Apology. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh? Well, because it's like I started the episode off being like, this is the one and only apology I'm going to give to my mother, my ex-boyfriends, and my publicist. Um, you're not getting anything else with this podcast. That's your one time. I'm going to say sorry for whatever I'm about to say for however many seasons we have of it. So so you're talking about going up to your last record, and there was a breakup between you and your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. And I guess not a good one? No, we were together for six years and like moved here together, and it was, it was super, super messy and just ended up... Um, but I got a record out of it, and I think he got regrets. So, <laughs> <laughs> what um, what do you say about the breakup? What have you said publicly? Um, I mean, I think most of it was pretty obvious. You know, I mean, you you guys all understand being on you know Twitter and stuff. Even if you're just in your hometown, people are like, "Why aren't you posting pictures of that person anymore?" It's like, well, <laughs> pull up a seat, buddy. Um, but I think most of it was like said in my music more than anything, so I never had to super address it, and it's been two years since but I mean the songs are very detailed there's not really anything left out but I'm sure I'll tell more than I have they ever the hit you up and be like oh you shouldn't say that in a song I wish you wouldn't have said that in a song well <laughs> yeah so the one of the like most critically acclaimed songs on the album that got a lot of attention was called F.E. Forever <laughs> and Good it's title. about yeah 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 I don't get it <laughs> what's that about <laughs> I know right it's about taking a uh, ring and putting it on your middle finger so you can say F.E. Forever and I heard through the grapevine, not necessarily from him, that he told one of our f like old friends, like, I just think that's a little too literal. And I was like, mm, well, you cheating on me when I was on tour was a little too literal. So, oh. Oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you this, open this, this up. I know it's a very, it's a very honest um, look at a life from her perspective. Uh, so check out too much to say. I'll promote it again in just a second. But you know, we have featured you on the Women of Byheart Country, which I produce and Amy hosts, and we. You, we played Lullaby, I think, is the first time we, we played your song. Mm -hmm. So you have your guitar with you. Would you mind playing a little lullaby for us? Not at all. All right, here's Kaylee Shore, everybody. Yeah, she's getting ready. At Kaylee Shore, K-A-L-I-E. Amy, didn't you call her Callie the I first did. time? And then we, yeah. I, I felt bad, and then we replayed it. You felt bad. I felt bad. <laughs> so we did Like, it. Kaylee recorded herself, I remember now, in her car hearing it. And mm -hmm. Amy goes, and here she is, Callie Shore. And she was like, it's okay, it's okay. Like she's reassuring herself and her friends. It's okay, they're still playing the song. I mean, it, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what counts. And I mean, how many times have you had your name mispronounced? Me all the time. If you're still getting into the Radio Hall of Fame, then <laughs> they can't take it back. Let's pull in some of your tweets here. You wrote, one girl's trash is another girl's new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that inspired by anything? I mean, for sure, yeah. 100%. Sounds like it. It sounds, yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. I, like, always hear, like, feedback from, you know, because Nashville's such a small town. Everybody knows everybody. And my friend was like, I saw your ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend drunk at Red Door telling everybody that his ex-girlfriend tweets about her. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Here's another Kaylee tweet. Follow your heart is terrible advice. If I followed my heart, I'd be throwing rocks outside a guy's window who hasn't texted me back since Obama was president. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like, I would see this stuff and I'd be like, man, she should do a podcast. Thank you. Uh, let me, and you, she is doing a podcast, by the way. Um, here we go. Quote, my Twitter makes it seem like I've dated a million different people, but in reality, it's three guys with 14 personalities. <laughs> nice. That's pretty funny. Hey, so I heard once that you caught an ex-boyfriend cheating because of Venmo. No, I found out he had a new girlfriend because of Venmo. Oh, oh yes. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> what was he like paying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? With the um, certain emoji? Go buy yourself flowers. I feel bad because I should know. Um, <laughs> no, it's like I was talking about how weird it is being a millennial and dating and 
all the different things that you never had to think about. Like, I mean, even three, four years ago, you couldn't check and see who watched your Snapchat story. The amount of like anxiety that has caused me alone is insane. And Venmo, like I remember I was just like looking at my feed and you don't think... You think to unfriend them on Facebook, you don't think to unfriend them on Venmo. And it was just like, date night, bay, heart, heart. And I was wow. like, Ugh. <laughs> can't even send my friend money for shots and peace over here. It's That's this whole funny. thing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kaylee has a new podcast. It has launched today. Um, check it out. It is called Too Much to Say with Kaylee Shore. K-A-L-I-E, Kaylee Shore. So you're supposed to tour with Martina, but that got canceled because of COVID. Yes, that was, I was supposed to do that. I was on my first headlining tour, doing my first UK tour. Um, and I know everybody has been so affected by COVID, but the Martina thing was a, was a special type of loss. And she actually asked me to go on tour with her because she heard my album and really liked it. And that's not normally how it works anymore. And she like specifically asked, but haven't gotten to meet her, but we were supposed to like go sing Concrete Angel together every night because I sang that when I didn't make it on The Voice and it was going to be this great moment and great consolation prize. But um, I think we'll be rescheduling those hopefully for late 2021. Well, that means that that wasn't the worst because she got COVID too. Don't forget. She was on the show when she had COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> her and your roommate is... Taylor Acorn. They got COVID yeah, together. Remember right. having them on the yeah, show? That's mm -hmm. right. That was crazy. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's it like living with another artist? Like some, when you're both trying to make it, is it supportive, competitive, both? I think it's supportive. We also live with a songwriter, Emma Lynn White, and we all write together. And, you know, it's, it's, I mean, Taylor's voice is insane. And so she'll just be like in the bathroom singing all time low or something while I'm like get, making breakfast in the kitchen. I'm just like, this is so precious and <laughs> like a little concert, but we all write together and you know, it's, it's really cool to live in like this little musical commune thing. <laughs> uh, what did you perform to when Maine's got talent back in 2010? Oh my God. An original song I wrote about the quarterback called notice me. It was so bad. It was literally so bad. It was like, why won't you notice me? Was the hook. I wrote about Eddie first time. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked. It was the same. Hey. Here we are. Have you seen people steal your tweets online and then post them as their own? Has that been a thing you've ever seen? I've seen it a few times, but honestly, the funniest one has been like when they've been turned into memes. And like, I think, okay, so I tweeted one time because my first red carpet interview, they asked me, so what's like your go-to red carpet accessory? And I didn't think, I just was like, oh, Spanx. Like, of course it's Spanx. That's what you wear on every red carpet. And, like, Spanx just ran an ad campaign with my tweet, like, because I tweeted that quote and just random stuff like that. But I haven't seen people stealing them too much, thankfully. Well, I hope everybody checks out your podcast. It is, again, called Too Much to Say with Kaylee Shore. Um, ripped jeans, tattoos, <laughs> you know, a lot to say. She <laughs> definitely has a, um, an attitude, and I'm super pumped that, that you're on. Don't you think she has an attitude about her? I think it's great. I, I think, think it's yes. refreshing. I hope it's a I positive like it. one. Oh, totally. Well, no, it doesn't have to always like be positive. I like you guys. No, no, him. no. <laughs> I don't think it has to always be positive. I think it should just be how you feel, and I think yeah. you do that regardless, and Thank I think you. that's refreshing. Thank you. So, all right, you guys check it out. Kaylee, great to see you. Follow her uh, at Kaylee Shore, K-A-L-I-E-S-H-O-R-R. -R. I bet people pronounce it wrong all the time. All the time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kaylee, good to talk to you. Congratulations. Thank you. And then uh, we'll see you soon. There she is, everybody. Woo! Woo! It's about the show. Hey.